Yeah, I'm going to be talking about the California Current Ecosystem, uh, CCE LTR site. We are a coastal upwelling biome uh, in coastal California. Our study area extends from uh, San Diego in the south to uh, Point Conception in the north and about 700 kilometers offshore. Shown here is a, a chlorophyll, a surface chlorophyll from satellite showing the intense concentrations of chlorophyll we're currently seeing uh, from a coastal red tide bloom of the dinoflagellate lingulodinium polyhedrum. We also have some imaging flow cytobot uh, data on these organisms from a mooring uh, just north of San Diego. In terms of uh, new site news, we're happy to report that we've been able to recruit a number of uh, new associate PIs uh, to work at our site. Uh, a diverse group of both male and female investigators. Many of these are new assistant hires at uh, SIO. We're particularly excited about working with a number of these new investigators in a renewed focus on uh, near surface and deep ocean food webs at our site. Uh, this work is motivated uh, by longstanding observations in our field that the, the sinking particle flux from the upper ocean does not balance uh, the mesopelagic carbon demand uh, or the carbon budget of the metabolic demands of the subsurface biota. It's increasingly recognized uh, that additional physical and biological mechanisms must be considered uh, in quantifying carbon sequestration into the deep ocean. In particular, uh, vertically migrating populations that cross the boundaries between these two ecosystems uh, can link these food webs in complex ways uh, and also complicate uh, quantifying carbon flux. Uh, CCE has a history of leadership in this area, an important publication uh, from Pete Davison and Tony Coslow at our site in 2013, uh, quantified for the first time the contribution of mesopelagic fishes uh, to carbon export into the deep sea. More recently in 2017, Mike Stuckel led a PNAS paper uh, synthesizing the results of one of our process cruises uh, at a mesoscale ocean front, which was one of the first uh, efforts to quantitatively compare uh, export flux from the biological pump with uh, physical eddy subduction processes. So with our new investigators, we're particularly excited uh, about revisiting some of these issues related to um, epipelagic and mesopelagic coupling. There are a number of challenges inherent to this work, uh, one of which is the patchiness that we must deal with in the surface ocean, limitations uh, spatially and temporally of ship-based sampling, the hit or miss nature of sediment traps in terms of their ability to catch sinking particles, the uh, vertically migrating populations that move up and down in the water column, and complicate uh, carbon flux and connectivity. And finally, even at a um, molecular and microbial level, uh, the processes that are occurring uh, on sinking particles and their high degree of heterogeneity. We're employing a number of new approaches to uh, deal with these complications. New imaging approaches, such as the um, underwater vision profiler has been employed on some of our process cruises uh, was used to uh, constrain the role of giant theodarians in carbon and silica cycling. Lahini Luhari's group is collaborating with Peter Dorstein uh, at UCSD to utilize non-targeted LCMS techniques with advanced data processing to map molecules of interest in both the upper and deep ocean. These approaches uh, greatly complement genetic approaches that are used by Andy Allen's lab. Uh, here we're looking at uh, diatom mRNA, both in surface samples and in deep mesopelagic samples taken from our um, study site. You can see that there's definitely a distinct uh, diatom population in the mesopelagic. One of our areas of interest is to figure out what's sustaining that population and what metabolisms they may be carrying out. Another area where we hope to expand our efforts is in the use of biochemical tracers to constrain the structure and connectivity of ocean food webs. Uh, this includes bulk tissue and compound specific stable isotopes, fatty acids, and trace elements. Uh, this is work that we hope some of our new PIs such as Anella Choi and Moira Decima can contribute to. 
Um, finally, we are applying new modeling approaches. This is a linear inverse ecosystem model that uh, Mike Snuckel's group employed uh, to constrain the role of mesopelagic vertical migrators in sustaining uh, the, the lower food web. And um, I'll just leave you with some of the open questions that we're uh, excited to look at in our site related to export processes and how they sustain uh, the mesopelagic community. Thanks. <laughs>